Well, take a look at this for our friends across the southern Japanese islands. The GFS really wants to ruin your day here on the 11th of June, 2025. It's currently the second, though. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta. We're looking at the long-range forecast. Remember, the further out you look with these models, the chaos theory, the less confident they are. There's a lot of variabilities. And, I mean, if you simply look at the GFS here in the latest run, compare it with the latest run from the ECMWF, there, it's a night and day difference. I think overall what the model is picking up on is the increase in the southwest monsoon and monsoonal surge and it really wants to develop a couple monsoonal gyres if you will meaning a lot of rain not so on the full tight storm system regardless it is still possible here and you can see that with the gfs the broader view this is why on june 1st though t core 4 was issued for okinawa by the Kadena air force there well i guess by the military in general this is a straight off from Kadena. Um, yeah, T-Core 4, they always put that in on June 1st. It's just the start of tropical season for uh, Japan and the southern Japanese islands. Overall, you see our ensembles, though. The GFS really does want to develop something out there, but that wouldn't be until about the 10th and 11th, so next Tuesday into Wednesday. But my goal here is to always give you as early of a heads up as possible. I mean, I'm not saying a storm is going to hit, but it does look like just the general consensus, even if we do look at the ECMWF, which is not not being very aggressive on development it still does really pick up on an enhanced southwesterly flow a monsoonal flow and thus increasing showers with the rainy season front here so of course always continue to monitor let's take a look more at the short term though and uh once again hey if you're new to this channel maybe you're out of okinawa and you just move there because you're part of the military I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta. This is Western Pacific Weather. We've been doing this for over 15 years. I worked in Japan on TV on NHK World, and I do these updates. I'm supported directly from you all on our Patreon, our YouTube members, and just those who continue to support this channel in general. So overall, southwesterly flow with the monsoon set up here. You can see where the rainy season front is. So, And this is why we're going to take a look at the five-day forecast for Okinawa in a minute. It really is, yeah, you're going to get some breaks in here, but it's kind of these passing rounds of rain, which is why they call it the rainy season. They don't call it for that for nothing, right? Uh, 27 cloudy skies here on our Saturday. At least there's not a lot of rain in the forecast Saturday, but it is going to be a bit dreary out there so when the sun does peak through it will rise at 5 36 a.m set at 7 20 p.m the moon is still in its first quarter so you kind of have some medium tides out there if you're a surfer um it's not a full moon tide or anything like that kind of in the middle of the road uh taking a look where that rainy season front is though yeah you can really i mean this graphic says it more than anything the five day rainfall accumulation you can see exactly where everything's set up here and why you have on and off rain over the next few days but of course I'm going to continue to monitor, you know, that long range forecast. And, and I saw that on the, ooh, why did I jump like that? I saw that on the long range GFS and I kept thinking to myself, oh man, this, um, th this could uh, get interesting really quick. Uh, but the GFS has been notoriously with the long range outlook aggressive i mean it's doing the same exact thing in the atlantic it's trying to spin up a storm and hit the texas coast and louisiana coast around the same day uh, so i think the gfs in general here in 2025 is really jumping through hoops or the ecmwf is on point or just totally lacking and says nah nothing when stuff this is going to happen the next week and a half is going to be a test of both of our major weather models here the global ones the euro and the gfs um and to see what happens i think the euro is going to be right in the end i think that this is aggressive to say the least but it is it's that time of year, right? So we're always going to continue to monitor it, and we'll see what happens. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta. If you want to support this channel, check out our link down below, and make sure you uh, stop by our Patreon if you do want to support us and engage and subscribe at least. I, I appreciate that. But number one thing, of course, as always, if you're new to the channel, I say that every update is please stay safe out there, friends. Have a good day.